Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Team Toyota of Princeton to check out this pre-owned 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro in midnight black metallic. We're going to check this out, see what it brings to the table in this full-size off-road SUV segment. So let's dig in. Oh, like the front end of this midnight black metallic Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. We're talking almost top trim on the 2023 Sequoia. You got five trim levels. You got SR5, you got Limited, you got Platinum, you got TRD Pro, you got Capstone. But this is the one I think everybody's going to want. It has Toyota Racing Development's magic all over it for that off-road action. And right in the front, what do we see? We see LED lighting, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps, and also in here, underneath this great Toyota badge, old school Toyota badge, no Toyota emblem, but the old school Toyota badge, we have an L TRD LED light bar for that off-road action and your front-facing camera and all of your, your safety suite right up front. Look at these big side air curtains that I forgot to mention right in here on either side, getting that cool air into this gigantic iForce Max engine. Really beefy looking, and this is so wide, we have to have DOT required amber lights across the front of the grill. That's why they're there, because of the total width of the car. Wheel and tire setup on this Sequoia TRD Pro. We have 18-inch BBS Forged aluminum wheels, satin black, red TRD badge on the center cap, looking good. Wheels, we have Falcon Wild Peak All Terrains, 285 on the width, a 65 series sidewall, 18s, all four corners, four wheel drive. Looking underneath at the suspension work on this TRD Pro, well, Toyota Racing Development, they gave you off-road Fox shocks in here with the off-road suspension, 9.1 inches of ground clearance. The low point on the vehicle is the rear differential, but we do have a uh, electronically controlled transfer case and electronically locking rear differential in here. So they got this set up for serious off-road action. Full side profile on the Sequoia TRD Pro, looking awesome in the midnight black. Love the hard body lines up on the front fender and down by the rear door and into the rear tailgate, uh, tailgate area. Looking really, really good. As we move in closer, we have the TRD Pro up on the hood, calling it out, making it look awesome. Love the fender, uh, wheel well skirts right in here. Nice kind of camouflage pattern, extends that out to cover up those wide tires. That's the idea. Looking good. Flat black on the side view mirror, LED turn signals, 360 degree cameras, the cast aluminum TRD running boards. We are color match on the front and the rear door handle. Up top, you got the TRD cargo rack up here. Roof rack, looking good, shark fin antenna, color matched, and we got a sunroof at up top as well. All right, back end, this truck is so massive, it is hard to give you a good look, but we do have the roof spoiler coming off the top. We have the wind uh, window wiper down below on the glass, Toyota badge in the middle, Sequoia under, spelled out in script in black underneath that license plate area. Then we have a combination of some color match and flat black on the bumper, LED taillights, LED turn signals here in the back, and we do have a dual exhaust coming out the left side of the vehicle, and we do have some a towing action on this as well, and we'll go over those numbers when we look at the engine, but since we got dual exhaust, let's check that out, see what she sounds like.
All right, we're under the hood of this 2023 Sequoia TRD Pro. And what are we looking at? We're looking at Toyota's iForce Max Twin Turbo V6 Hybrid Action. That's what we got going on here. It's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque. This engine can tow up to 9,020 pounds. MPGs, 19 in the city, 22 on the highway, 20 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 91, so you'll need to use premium unleaded fuel. All right, before we get into the interior of this TRD Pro, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this gorgeous midnight black Sequoia cost? Well, let's take a look. Window sticker action when new. This vehicle only had one option on it when new from factory. So your base price for the 2023 Sequoia TRD Pro Hybrid because the iForce Max engine is hybrid, is $76,000. This vehicle only had one option, which was the door edge guards for an additional $150. Destination and delivery from Toyota's San Antonio, Texas assembly plant was $1,595. So your total MSRP when new, $77,745. Now, these things are hot. You can't find one on a, on, a, on a new, on a Toyota lot. And if they're coming in, they're coming in pre-sold. So, used prices are way up. So this vehicle has just over 6,000 miles on it. And the sale price pre-owned, sale price is $95,000. Let's check out the interior. Footbox action, nice large dead pedal, brake and accelerator with aluminum finish. The floor mats are in the cargo area right now. Seating, power seats with lumbar for the driver and the front passenger. And then we have the red. TRD Pro soft text trim seats, looking good, nice and soft. On the bolstering, nice, big, large, meaty headrest, looking good. Love the TRD Pro uh, embroidered into the seats on both front seats, looking good. Nice side bolstering, really nice pattern on it as well. It's a really sharp looking interior. Door panel action, nice soft touch up top with the stitching. Red insert, black door handle, nice soft armrest in black with red stitching. Lovely contrast flat black on the switch gear. We have the upgraded sound system, 14 speaker JBL sound system in here as well. On your dash, look at that. Toyota spelled out with the red around it, looking good, looking old school. That's what I love about the way that script looks. We got our heat and air vents looking really masculine. More of this red material. And then down below here, we have a nice large glove box. All right, infotainment system time. And sorry for the strobing, but that's how this camera picks it up. We have Toyota's 14-inch multimedia system. And finally, since this car isn't a used car and it's been already uh, upgraded and the navigation has been enabled, because remember on these newer Toyotas with this new system, you have to subscribe to get the nav to work. Well, now that's all been done here on this used one, so I can show it to you. Look at that. Look at how that looks. Beautiful. Nice and smooth. Here's our Team Toyota right here. So there you have that. You have your music right here. You can turn that on. You can enable your audio. And then you're going to get your Sirius XM, your favorite channels, Bluetooth, your phone. You have your settings for your vehicle where you can go through those. You have your general settings where you can go through those. Wi-Fi hotspot, the whole nine yards, back to your maps. Nice and clear, looking really good here on this large 14-inch system. And they have it partially integrated into the dash, which is another nice thing, not just plopped on like an iPad. So let me know what you think there. Looking at the backup camera, nice and large, 
with trajectory and 360 with trajectory looking good we have all sorts of different camera angles you can go through down here by just hitting the buttons you have different guides on or off if you would like so really easy we got our auto on off and then we got our camera going up the hill so we got all sorts of big action going on with the cameras on this trd pro and it's looking really really good nice job by toyota especially on this now when we do this piece it is pretty responsive but every once in a while you do get a little teeny weeny glitch so it's not the most responsive i've seen but it's still a really nice 14 inch screen coming down dual climate control action looking good three-stage heated seats three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger we got rear uh climate control as well and we have that on right now because this is it is a warm day out but looking nice and i love the fact that we have physical buttons that feel really good it, we have a hdmi over here so they got you covered there down below here we got our four-way hazards lock up that rear diff traction control off camera views save a trailer into the system which i like down below here you have your electronic emergency brake we have our wireless charging pad right in there looking good here's the trd gear shift love that with the red and the trd on it looking good to go through this 10 speed automatic transmission here we go with two high four high four low and you can just change those and here is our drive modes which we'll show you when we get to the dash two cup holders toyota key fob every toyota seems to get the same key fob we have lock unlock pop the tailgate panic button toyota badge and nothing on the back really really simple then up top here we have a storage area right here probably can lie your phone in there if you don't want it in the way or we can pop this little piece up here put some secret papers in there who knows and then we can move this back and now we got action here usb a usb c look at that we got a space for coins for the toll so they got jersey figured out no problem and then we got some other storage areas in there nice nice and soft on either side so both front seat passengers can have their arms on this uh, center armrest without bumping into each other which is nice as well all right toyota steering wheel nice steering wheel look at that really nice 10 and 2 notches top dead center with the red love that toyota badge on the horn button trd down here they're not going to let you forget you're in a trd with all this badging on here that's for sure then Sorry, on the left the network is currently busy please try again later hi toyota is driving me nuts in here i said it again <laughs> On the left, flat black on the switch gear, voice commands, telephone right up here. Then we have our action for our digital dash. And then on this side, you have your cruise control as well as safety suite controls. And then your modes for your infotainment system. On the left stock, we have our headlights and fog lamps. On the right front and rear wiper. Bottom left of the dash, you have your on off for your light right under above the license plate that turns on lifts you see what you're doing with tow, with the tow hook in the dark that, that looks pretty cool i checked it out works good we have our adaptive high beams pop the fuel filler brightening them the dash trip odometer trd light bar heated steering wheel turn on that 120 120 volt ac they got you covered there and we have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel and then we have the 12.3 inch digital dash looking good we have our drive modes so we can go to sport normal eco in this car <laughs> well at least they give you one so there you have your drive modes right there and then of course you can go to your tow haul mode with a separate button and then to your crawl mode with another separate button and then your mud and snow mode with another separate physical button that's right here next to the dial so they got you covered there for the drive mode action then you have more information on the left side you can scroll through that with the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel and then there's sub menus for each one of these as well 
So they really have a nice setup here in this 12.3 inch digital dash. And then of course, when you rev it, looks pretty badass. Driver door panel action. Here is our two memory seat settings right up here, which is nice and power fold mirror action using this button right here. Hit it and they go. Put them back out, lock the door, they fold in. Cool. Rear view mirror action. You can either have the regular one on or flip this button forward. And we got the digital rear view mirror looking badass. Love that feature. All right, overhead console action, LED dome lighting as expected in this TRD Pro. You want the dome lights to go on and off when you open and close the door. This button needs to be set in the center on door. And then when you open the door, those lights will come on, as you can see. And then when you close the door, the lights will go off. We have our SOS button in case you have an emergency out on the road. And then you have your standard sunroof. Shade is manual. And then you just one touch back and open she goes. And then one touch back again to close her on up. And then bring that forward. Sun visor with lighting and vanity. Does it slide? Yes, it does. Keep out that side sun. Way to go. All right, getting in the mid row of this Toyota Sequoia. Got the seat set for my driving position. Hop on into these captain's chairs in the mid row. Nice and easy to get in. Plenty of headroom, plenty of knee room, five foot 11, plenty of shoulder width space. The nice soft text material all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. In the back here, two cup holders right here. And then we do have a climate control back here as well. And underneath, USB-A, USB-C, home power source. So they got you covered there for connectivity. And then here are heat and air vents here and here, which is nice. But what I don't see are heated mid-row seats, which would be nice at almost 80 grand. New and, of course, now used at 95 Gs. Door panels, same action as the front, same use of material, same vibe, as you can see. So Toyota did a nice job carrying that TRD vibe into the back doors as well. Of course, we do have our manual security shades right here on either back door. Seats, nice. Would have been nice to see TRD Pro here. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Nice headrests, nice bolstering, really nice red seats. Armrests, a little skinny. My arm is going to fall off the side of these and they're the ratcheting kind, which I'm not a fan of. Let me know what you guys think, but they are very, very comfortable. And sitting back here, I feel really, really comfortable in the back of this TRD Pro Sequoia. Third row action in this Sequoia. To get in there, you come to the mid row. Captain's chair, here's the lever. Push this up and up and out of the way it goes. Love how that gives you a lot of space to get in. Now we can step on the running board and propel ourselves into the third row of this Sequoia. Oh, and the thing that's interesting, now I'm going to pull this seat back. There we go. So now here I am. And I heard a lot of complaints from other car reviewers saying there isn't enough room back here. It's cramped. Well, this seat is in the normal spot for the mid-row passenger, and I got a good amount of space for my feet. Now my knees are a little high, but I still have enough headroom, and I got lighting, and I got my heat and air action going on back here, right? I got two cup holders, which is nice. And I can recline my seat if I want. Either way, either forward or back. So if a larger person, I can sit farther back. So if you can see where this recline button, I'll show it to you on the other side, right here, you can recline the seat back or you can move the seat back forward, depending on how you would like to sit. So that's a nice touch with the two cup holders and we have third row security shades as well. So that's a nice touch back here. One extra thing I did forgot to mention, there is a USB-C in here on the right side, third row right side where this cutout is, where there's a little storage area. So that's nice. But on the left side, third row, that's absent. So I would like to see them. I think in, in, they have the speaker here instead. 
but I think I would like to have a USB-C on the left side of the third row as well as only instead of just only the right side in that little cubby. So I like the action back here and actually the room isn't that bad so I would say is it as good as let's say the competition which would be like the Ford Expedition or the Chevy Tahoe or the GMC Denali, Yukon Denali? I would say no. Those have a bit more, but this room is adequate for a large adult to ride back here. So I don't really have any kind of beef with the room back here in the third row of this Sequoia. Let me know how you guys feel from, from, but from way downtown. You can wave up at the driver. Hey, I'm back here looking good. Put, a, uh, put some uh, death metal on for me, will you? Ah. All right, cargo area time. So we have a tailgate that you can open or you can just open the glass. So we'll do the glass first. You come up to the back right next to this Toyota badge, which has the blue because it's a hybrid. You push this button and the glass pops. And now you can open up the glass only and then just reach in if you need to grab something. And when you're done, you can close the glass back down. So without having to open the whole tailgate, I do like that quite a bit. Now to open up the tailgate all the way, again, you can pop it from your uh, dash or the key fob, or you can come to the back here and there's a button right underneath the Toyota badge. Hit that, a couple of beeps, nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down using this button. Here's the room back here with the third row up. We have this cargo net and I hate cargo nets. Here are the all season mats for the Sequoia TRD Pro. They say Sequoia TRD Pro on them. So that's a nice touch with these all season mats. I do like that. We have the Toyota first aid kit. We have lighting right there and we have a home power source in the back for power. So I love that action. So I really like that. Now, if we want to get these third row seats down, because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to roll with the third row seats down, there are power down right here. So we just have to hit the button left. One touch, hit the button right, it beeps and then it goes. And now the headrests move down automatically and the seats do go down. However, you can see it's not totally flat. There's a kick up. So that's gonna compromise the height here in the cargo area. The competition has flat floors. The Sequoia does not. I would have liked to seen Toyota maybe do a flat floor in here once you put that third row down, but it is what it is. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments, if that's a deal breaker for you. Uh, but overall, a good amount of space. Now, obviously, if you want to maximize space, you can go ahead and put that mid-row action down, and then you'll have maximum space. But it is a good amount of space, but you are going to have that limited height due to this raised up seating area compared to what we have going on in the back. But if we move this stuff out of the way, Underneath the car, you see your spare tire. So they do have a spare here on this Sequoia. So that's a nice touch. Let me know how you feel about the storage setup back here, though. All right, here is the window sticker. Remember, this is a pre-owned vehicle with 6,124 miles on it. So thank you to the previous owner for saving the window sticker. Save your window stickers on your cars. It really helps when you trade them in. But here we go. Standard. On the equipment on the left and we have options on the right total msrp fuel economy estimates from the dot let's take this baby out for a spin all right, we are on the road in this 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro, all new Sequoia action for 2023, of course, with the major redesign of the Sequoia, which had been really not touched for years. So a definite needed redesign of the Sequoia by Toyota. And they did a great job. I mean, it looks much more modern now. Still has that really squared off, rugged look to it, but it's definitely more modern, especially with the tech and everything else in here, because this, is, this has got the big time tech action in this TRD Pro. 
Visibility is great out the windshield, side glass, rear glass, rear view mirror. Love the digital rear view mirror in this one right up here. Looking good. It makes it much easier to see everything out the back. So I think that's a big bonus in this vehicle. Every time I have the, uh, the uh, camera is set on auto. So if I slow way down to below a certain speed, my front camera will come on to make sure there's nothing in front of me. And then when I speed up, it goes back to nav. So that's a pretty cool setup in here for those auto cameras to come on if you're going really slow and you may not want to hit something in front of you to the side of you and back of you. Those auto camera angles come up and they got you covered. So I do like that. Full seat, seat, uh, set of safety suite technology in here, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz is on here. This thing is set up for heavy duty off-road. And if you're not gonna do a lot of off-roading, the TRD Pro probably doesn't make a lot of sense for you and another Sequoia trim probably makes better sense than this one does. Because this is set up with some serious suspension, wheels, the whole schmear uh, to really take this thing off uh, off-road and have a fantastic time with it. This iForce Max engine, very powerful. You can tow over 9,000 pounds with this. So that's going to get most of what you need to tow wherever you need to go. No problem at all. Gas mileage, obviously not a big factor, but in a vehicle like this, you're not going to get gas mileage. That's just the way it is, no matter which vehicle it is. But we're going to head off down the road here, do an emergency stop in three, two, one. Nice. Perfect. No action. Now I'm stopped, so my cameras are back on up front, thinking there could be action. That's why I stopped so quickly. Love that. Now we're going to take off. And this iForce Max just moves the Sequoia down the road so easily, so swiftly. All that torque, all that horsepower. This is not a corner carver. This is going to slide all over the place on the, you know, try to handle it like a sports car. But you take this off road and you're going to have a great time. I'm just, it's just a shame there isn't any real off road courses in the area here in Mercer County, New Jersey, where I can show you show you some off road action. Pretty much got to stick to tarmac, unfortunately. But just a really, really nice vehicle. Steering, beautiful, no issues. It's direct. Is it like sports car steering wheel? No. Can you get some feedback from the road underneath the tires? Yeah, you can. And when you turn this wheel, it, the vehicle is going to turn. Very little play in the steering wheel. Well, let's see how fast this car gets up and dances on its toes in three, two, one. There you go. It comes up like a big dog with all this iForce Max, and the engine sounds fantastic. It sounds really, really good. Love the way that iForce Max engine sounds. It is a beast of an engine, and I'm glad they stuck it in this Sequoia. Well, this is the kind of vehicle you can really have a lot of fun with. This is going to get you, your family, your gear, anywhere you want to go off the beaten path, have a lot of fun with it, and uh, enjoy yourself. Now, the question becomes, wow, 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 we have about $18,000 price increase from MSRP new to what they're going for on the pre-owned market. That is major. Let me know how you feel about that action. Is this vehicle worth $95,000? Sale price used when the MSRP was what, just under seventy-eight dollars or something like that? 
uh, that is a big, big increase. But like I said, you can't find a, a TRD Pro Sequoia on a Toyota lot, at least not around me. Here in Central Jersey, they are none to be found. And Team Toyota just got a brand new one in today. White one, looking good. And it's gone. Sold before it even got there. So that is just the way of the world, you know? It's the way it's going. And there's nothing much you can do about it. So when you find one used, the dealers can really get what they want. They can really get what they want for these things. But let me know, would you spend 95 grand on, on, on a uh, Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro used? Uh, not sure what the new markup is, I haven't, because I haven't seen one on the dealership lot, but uh, that's a big difference. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. But as far as the vehicle goes, it's a hell of a hell of a truck, a hell of a truck, and it would make anyone happy uh, with this truck. Yeah, it, it is the rear seat room a little compromised from the competition. Sure. Would I like to see a flat floor in the, flat floor in the cargo area? Sure. But that's not gonna stop me from buying this if I was in the market for it at least I don't know let me know if you think that's a deal breaker for you guys would like to see heated seats in the mid row uh, at an almost $80,000 price point uh, but otherwise I think this thing is badass no doubt about it and it feels great to drive and it's a lot of fun to drive and I'm really enjoying myself so let me know how you guys feel about this 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro in the comments I want to thank Team Toyota of Princeton on the pre-owned side for giving the channel access to this 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.